everyone and welcome back to the new Xfinity series. I, I just swear I don't say anything anymore. I just go, blah, blah, blah. And that's, uh, that's what it's called. Blah, 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 Xfinity series. What's the title? Paul Dylan Thacker in second. Uh, it's Jake Scarborough third. Jonathan Canales in fourth? Indeed. And fifth goes to Jake and Sensing here. As we come to the green flag here at Mid Ohio for the Mid Ohio 200. I think that's what I call this at least. Yeah, pretty sure. Green flag is out. Hunt gets the jump. He's going to lead him to turn number one. And we'll lead him out of turn number one. Don't mind me, guys. I'm going to eat an Uncrustable while I record this race. I am hungry. I had ice on it. Mm, go, man. Hunt will lead down the back straightaway about three car lengths over Dylan Thacker. Scarborough's overtaking the third position. Oh, something drives off the track a little bit back there. Curious to see what the back of this pack would look like. Oh. Somebody drove it off. Well, sensing off the track a little bit. Hunt is gone. We have completed the first lap here. Hunt got a 1.39 second lead in the first lap. Man, I am just great. Looks like we got single file through most of the field here. Or we might have a battle for a second, actually. Oh, Scarborough went wide, though. Here come Canals trying to get third back. Scarborough able to hang on. Hunt is now out to a 2.09 second lead over Dylan Thacker. Much of this field is in the final. If not all of it. Hunt continues to be out front. I don't know if he's pulling away or not, but it's definitely looking good on his end. He was the only Oh, he's off the track though. Able to come back on as the leader, so it didn't really make a difference. But he did go off there. Let's see how much Thacker closes in when we get through with the lap. Coming around the final few corners here. If I had to guess, Thacker closed in by about maybe none. Maybe within a two second margin now, yeah. So it didn't look like he closed in much. Then again, Hunt has such a huge lead that... Well, it looked like somebody went off back there. Was I wrong? I 
I think I'm just seeing things. I thought someone spun through turn one. It doesn't seem like it. Hunt continuing to lead here. I would say it was going nice and smooth, but then he went off the track and we went back to focus on him, so. Through the S's here. This is where he went off last time. Able to keep it on the track this time, but Thacker is not. I believe Thacker went off a little bit there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's definitely a uh, dust cloud. I don't know if it was from Thacker specifically, but. It looked to me like he was going to go off, and then I think he did, so. The battle is for third now, though, between Scarborough and pretty much everyone behind him. Scarborough's going to have to get some momentum going and try and hold it in that position. As Hunt is now out to a 2.4 second lead. Yeah, it's already reset. So 2.4 second lead for Hunt. <coughs> Man is uh, still gone. Did go a little wide there, though. Down the back stretch. Going to this heavy braking zone downhill. Now you have to go back uphill. Make a sharp left. Now you're going to go through the S's down here. and smooth there and you're going to go to that sharp left hander that everyone keeps going off on I think Hunt's going to be a little wide this lap as well but fortunately for him he's so far out front that margin of error isn't really hurting him we'll have 10 laps to go this time by This second straight, I don't, I don't even know if you call this the front. I thought the other straight away would be the front stretch, but I consider this next one the back stretch. I don't even know if you'd consider this the back stretch, but it's there. Through the S's once again for Hunt. See if he goes wide in this corner again. He did the last lap, so we'll see. Yep, a little wide there again. We'll see if Thacker's doing the same thing. We'll check it next time by. If Thacker, I'm gonna say Thacker's not because I feel like if he was, then Jake Scarborough would pounce on that second position. But unless Scarborough is also doing it. It's actually, if Stacker's not going off, this will let him close in by another little bit. He gained two tenths of last lap. See if he gains anything this time by. No, he actually lost time, so he may have also went wide with uh, Hunt there. Keep an eye on Sacker down through that uh, sharp corner this time that Hunt kept going off on. Hunt didn't go off this time, but it will be Thacker going off this time as well as Jake Scarborough. So Hunt did Hunt kept it on that time, but Thacker and Scarborough did not. 
Everybody pushing the limits here at Gateway, or yeah, at Gateway, all right, at Mid Ohio, because that's where we're at. We're at Mid Ohio. Gateway will be the next cup race. As Hunt's out to now a three second lead. Over that, actually. Keep an eye on them again, see if they go off. See how it goes this time. Hunt did go off. Thacker off a little bit, but not as much. Scarborough off as well, though. And everyone's struggling through that turn. Well, while we have a, a bit of a... Um, lay down period in this race where the gap between the leaders is so big. Thacker actually did manage to close in that lap, by the way. Because we have seven laps to go now. We can talk about news for next season. I mentioned how the schedule will change for Cup. I can mention to you guys how those changes will be. <laughs> Even though this isn't a Cup race. But it's okay. Next season, the clash will stay the same, but the changes will be Old Spice Speedway will replace Sonoma to start the season. Race 4, I believe. Pikes Peak International Raceway will replace the first Phoenix race, and Portland International Raceway place the second Martinsville race. That's all the schedule changes. Of the next In other news, Milton Hunt in the seven will be retiring at the end of the season, which I think was mentioned at Michigan. And Riley Coker will be taking that ride. Christian Anderson will drive the number 07 car in the Xfinity Series as well as the 22 in the Truck Series next season. Owen Crum to drive Chase Hansen's ride at the end of the season. Thacker managing to close in a bit here. Jerry Peniagua, who was in the 11 car, will be replaced by Jack Seacrest. Jair will primarily focus on Cup for Season 2. And uh, Brock, Brock Welch will drive the number 24 for Blackstorm Motorsports, replacing Jack Seacrest. Also mentioned, I believe, a race or two ago, that Trevor Graham would be piloting the number 35 in the Xfinity Series for Blackstorm Motorsports. As Tam Ho is retiring at the end of the season, and Josh Miller will take over the number 99 for Blackstorm Motorsports, coming up from the Truck Series. 
and Arca, coming up from Arca as well. Coming up for both Trucks and Arca, we'll be replacing on, we'll be replacing Jaden Oakley, who is just going to focus more on the Cup Series and possibly less on the Truck Series as well, but those plans have not been announced yet. I believe Oakley is currently still in the Truck Series as well. The Packers missed that corner big time, and nearly went to the fence. According to this, Jaden Oakley has not been replaced in trucks yet, so that might be a bit of future news. But as of right now, Jaden Oakley has announced he will focus more on cup in season two. Finally, Brendan Reed will replace Brett Myers at the number 8 for DTM, Dylan Thacker Motorsports. And Brett Myers will drive the number 97 for BW Racing in Season 2. So that should be an interesting thing to look out for. As this race has went by with nothing less than anything that would have put me to sleep. That's why I went through the news, because this race was so damn boring. But you're going to have those, even in an R. It's a good thing YouTube has a fast-forward button, or a, yeah, that you can skip. Three laps to go here. The lead for Hunt is 2.94. Actually, they lost quite a bit of time that lap. Who knows why. Uh, the 07 is the only car I've seen be passed all day. He's fallen all the way back to 7th after starting 3rd or 4th. Like 3rd. And as the NC State car, Wilson Hunt has been phenomenal this race. I mean, absolutely dominant. This will actually be his second one of the season. I don't think he's going to win Won the Food City 300 earlier this year at Bristol. Been a solid season for him. But looking to make a good playoff run here as the playoffs are coming up relatively soon. Got quite a few races left, but trying to make a good early start here in the second half of this season. Inside two to go here. Heading down this long back straightaway. Heading to that deep braking zone. Thacker's actually closing in. He's got it down to 2.74. It was 3.34 a few laps ago, but I just don't think there's enough time unless Hunt makes a massive mistake. But we'll just have to see. way back there. Coming to the coming around the final corner. White flag will be in the air this time by. <clears throat> It'll be a momentum building win for Hunt. 
if he's able to hang on. Thacker did close in a little bit more, but it's Hunt's got a big enough lead that it really doesn't matter. Down this back straightaway for the final time. for the final time. This is a treacherous turn that everyone's slipped off of at this time. Of this, this race. Down. And around. Back up. To the final few corners. Off the final corner, Wilson Hunt is going to win it at Mid-Ohio, grabbing his first road course win in the Xfinity Series and getting win number two on the season. The top ten is Wilson Hunt winning, Dylan Thacker second, Jake Scarborough third, Jake Sensing fourth, fifth goes to Victor Acosta, sixth goes to Joshua Estevejo, seventh. Jonathan Canales, 8th, Joshua Woodrow, ninth, Taylor Jarrow, and 10th goes to Will Sensing. I hope you guys somehow enjoyed. I know I didn't. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.